Hello, I'm here with John, one of the guys working on the Bomber crew. How are you doing? Oh, great, thanks. How about you? Yeah, good. Enjoying the show. Really cool. Uh, so what is your part uh, in this game? You know, what, what have you done? Okay, so uh, we run the duck. There's only two of us. There's me and Dave. Uh, I do most of the programming. He does the art. Um, we've been working together on this game full time since January and kind of in our spare time before that. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, that's what we're doing. Quickly tell us a bit about the game. So uh, Bomber Crew is kind of a mix of um, FTL, uh, Cannon Fodder, XCOM. Uh, you've got your bomber and you go off on various missions uh, with your crew, uh, bomb targets and come back at Second World War II. Um, so you, you're mainly levelling up your crew and trying to make sure they return home safely. Because um, the, the more you get attached to your crew and the more you level them up, the more valuable they become. So it's really about crew management, uh, similar to FTL, uh, but with a campaign that's a bit longer, similar to XCOM, as uh, permadeath with your crewmen as well. I think you'd agree with me when I say it's quite a hardcore experience. It can get quite hard and frustrating and a bit tense. It's yeah. a bit very challenging, not for the faint-hearted. I think it's, it's a tense and challenging game. Um, obviously the demo you played here uh, is a bit further in the campaign. Uh, you get easy and a bit, a bit better if you're playing because you get a, you know, training missions, you get a chance to, you know... So I jumped, I jumped straight into the deep end then? That's, that's right, because we wanted to show off everything that's in the game, so we kind of... The demo that we're showing is a lot more advanced. But that's not to say it doesn't, you know, it, it's always a hectic game, there's a lot of balancing to do, and that's really where it gets exciting, because sometimes the best missions you have are when you go out with your full crew, and you barely make it home and uh, you know you're really hoping that the right things happen at the right times and you're sending guys to repair stuff and you're doing other things. So there's no set characters in the game? Is it randomly generated? Yeah they're randomly generated. You can rename them, uh, you can equip them and you can train them. Um, yeah they're, they're, they're randomly generated. So you can't make it a, a, un not a universe but a game where you bond with the characters you're with and you want to make it home right. and then when you don't and it shows you about the missing in action or killed in action yeah. and I like the kind of roll of the dice effect so yeah. if someone's missing in action it shows you the possibility they could still be alive right. and you see the little spinny thing and you're like come on please survive yeah. and then it finds out they're missing in action and you're like okay can you refine people when they're missing in action um, so uh, if they're missing in action they're gone that's it but oh. so um, really uh, there's a whole load of equipment you can give them as well which increases their chance of being rescued so you can give them uh, you know, a life jacket for example and then if you ditch in the sea there's a higher chance of surviving it's a homing pigeon you can equip on the bomber uh, send their coordinates home uh, there's a higher chance of being rescued then so th there's things you can do if you do decide that you're going to ditch uh, or, or they're going to bail out to you know, increase the chance of them making that home cool i like that it's very interesting features um what can you tell us about any co-op any multiplayer uh, it's, it's a single player only game uh this um and it's a, it's a full campaign uh each mission's been curated it's quite a long long campaign for uh, for a two-person team that no, sounds very cool um how far through development are you then you're releasing very soon yeah, we're, we're really close to release, so um, I think we've got three and a bit weeks to go, so uh, I think we're just sort of masking our general panic and it, it should be out, um, yeah, October 19th on Steam, we'll be out on consoles next year, um, so we're very close to finished. How about the price tag? Uh, I think we're looking at £15 on Steam, uh, I'm not sure what that translates to in dollars or euros, but we're going for 15 quid. Like, yeah, 15 quid, yeah. if you don't understand, then just like Google, Translate this to that, and then yeah, you've got it. Uh, yeah, very, very cool game. Just real quickly, uh, choice of art style where did that come from? Any inspirations? Um, so, there's a few factors behind that. I think we wanted to make sure that it's very readable and clear because uh, there's always a lot going on in the mission. Uh, quite often, inside the bomber, if we'd gone for sort of more realistic proportions on the characters, you wouldn't be able to tell what's happening. Do you know what? It's true. If it was quite, uh, if it was dark yeah. inside, if it had some really intense light and really dark, yeah. it'd be hard to click. So, you've kept it quite simple. Yeah. To, favour the player I guess. I think it's, it's a mix of that and the fact we're a two person team, uh, there's a lot of content in the game so to have an art style that we can be quite flexible with um, has also helped. But really it's, yeah, it's about the clarity and also you know, these characters, the way they look, you kind of do get attached to them um, and you know, that, that's kind of part of it because you want to feel like you need to save your crew and that's kind of, you know, that's the whole game really. Any inspiration from other games that made this happen? Um, so I guess FTL, XCOM, um, the more recent ones, and uh, a bit of cannon fodder. Those so a genre that you like a lot then? Yeah, that you... um, I mean that's, that's it. Like, um, it's strategy, it's a bit action-y, um, but I, I think when we were first talking about the game we'd say 
it's FTL in the World War II setting, but obviously since developing it, it's come on quite a long way from yeah. that original pitch, I guess. Well, you're coming towards the end now. Yeah. Uh, any updates and everything you can do, any fixes on so on and so forth, but looking ahead to the future, yeah. what do you have planned? Uh, well, I mean, as soon as we get it out on PC, I'm going to be starting on the console version, so that, that's going to be my next few months. It's hard to know exactly what we'll be doing after that, but... Um, no plans, nothing you can tell us? Uh, not off the top of my head. Uh, I mean, we, we want to do uh, more, obviously, we're not going to going to be stopping so there will be stuff you know but uh, main focus is just on this for now um, and getting the PC version out properly and then after that getting the console version as good as possible well listen fantastic it's a good fun game sure. I struggled all of my crew was missing action and killed in action but he did say it was like one of the harder missions so I'm forgiven thanks very much for talking to me cool. thanks very much cheers